A lot of people have been asking me how I go about creating the 360 degree videos that allow the viewer to spin the view around and look wherever they want. Now, it's quite a long and fairly convoluted process. There's a lot of conversions that have to happen and quite a few different stages. So if you're going to attempt this yourself, you have to understand that it, it will take quite a bit of time. It will take a fair bit of processing power with whatever uh, computer that you're using. And it will take a lot of patience, okay? Because depending on how long the video is and what bit rate you choose and what resolution you choose uh, is going to make the file size fairly large and therefore it will take more time to process. But having said that, if it's something you want to do or something you're interested in seeing how I go about doing it, and my way might not be the best way, it's a way that I've come up with myself that suits me and, and, and it fits in with the way I do my editing work. So I'm going to show you now the whole process from start to finish. So the first thing you need to do is get some 360 degree footage. So I'm here at Dunure and I'm just going to walk along this little bay here where you'll be able to see the castle ruins some surrounding villages and just over the other side there is the harbour which you won't be able to see at the moment but I'll be doing a flight with my DJI Mavic 3 soon and you'll be able to see the harbour then now you won't be able to spin around the view in this particular video because this is a tutorial video showing you how I go about creating a 360 degree video but I'll create a 360 degree video from this short clip and I'll put it up on YouTube alongside the tutorial video so that you can see what it looks like and you can spin around the view as you desire. But for the moment, in post-production, I'm now going to spin the view around to where I choose. And once you've got your 360 degree footage and you're happy with it, you then load it up into the video editing suite of your choice. Once you've collected your footage, you would then connect your Insta360 camera to your computer and transfer the files. Once the files have transferred, you'll see that they are the a special format for the Insta360 range of cameras which is INSV for panoramic videos and LRV for low resolution videos. So before you can put these into your editing suite you have to convert them into a file appropriate for your, your editing suite. So the Insta360 camera comes with its own editor and all you have to do to convert is double click on the file that you want to convert when you double click it, your Insta360 Studio will open up and it will automatically load the file that you double clicked on. You can then spin it around to whatever you like. But what I do is, when I'm going to be creating the 360 video that you can spin around as a viewer, all you have to do is, well there are a few things you can do, you can select uh, whether the, your stitching options you can select whether you want colour plus on or off or clarity plus on or off these are these are personal choices that you can make uh, that's entirely up, entirely up to you uh, but but when, once you selected these these personal customizations all you do then is this is to export you would export a 360 video, select where you want it to, export to, select your bit rate. Now 200 is going to give you quite a large, a large file size, 2.82 gigabytes. You can reduce this wherever you like. I found that about 50, 
to 60 does me quite quite all right so we'll take it to 50 there this is the best resolution that you want for a 360 video and you can you see i've got 705 megabytes here now if you encode to prores it will jump up there you go to almost 30 gigabytes now you would think that that would give you much better quality but in all the testing i've done it's no better quality than 264. so once you've selected whatever you like you hit start export and it will start to export giving the account right here and it will take some time so you get a little alert when it has finished converting and once it's finished converting it will be in the location that you chose to put it in and here it is right here so this is what it will look like now that it's converted The next thing to do is to create a new project. I'm using Final Cut here. So I will create a new project. And you have to set your, your parameters. So it's a 360 video. I'm going to go for the maximum resolution here. And I know it was recorded at 29.97p. Okay, it's a 30, 360 degree monoscopic. And I'm going to save that project. So the project is saved there and I'm going to load in. Once I've loaded it in, I'm going to drag it onto my timeline. And there I have my 360 degree video. Now I don't need to put in any changes to the, the, the viewpoint, which direction it's facing. I'm going to upload this just as a 360 degree video, just like this. If, you want to, if I want to make any edits or changes, I can do that now and I can make any edit changes that I want. Once I've completed my edit changes, I'm then just going to upload it, export it. With the best settings that I have. Now this is going to take some time, as you can see up here. This is quite a long process. This is a very short clip that I'm I'm converting at the moment, and I'm not I am doing it at the highest resolution, but it's a very short clip, and it's still going to take about an hour. It's then going to start converting into a 360 degree video that you can then upload to YouTube, and it will create a 360 video that the viewer can then spin around and choose the view that they want to see. When your video has completed rendering, it's a simple case of just uploading this file to YouTube, which will automatically upload it as a 360 degree video, which the viewer can spin around. I hope you managed to follow along with that fairly convoluted explanation of how I go about creating the 360 degree videos. Now normally I, would, I wouldn't just walk about carrying the Insta360 X4, I would mount it onto my DJI Mavic 3, but you don't have to, you can walk about. Uh, if you want to see the 360 version of me walking along the beach doing the explanation that you saw in this video but in a format where you can spin the view around to see it yourself just check right there and that or just click that one right there and it will take you to it till the next time cheerio the new